And what if it's some old pedophile who puts a lure in, in a park and he attracts kids and he's just sitting there? You can see up here this gym. It's got a fucking bunch of pedals around it. It means someone's placed a lure there. That's him! Holy shit, there's a guy past there. He's actually playing Pokemon Go. <laughs> Are you playing Pokemon Go here? I'll be back to take this gym later. And this fucking old dude's on his phone parked at this park in the middle of a storm. 12 o'clock, midnight, up the road from my house. What's up everyone, today we're going to be counting down 10 things you didn't know about Pokemon Go. But first, I have a $1750 giveaway for you lot as the last one went down so well. You can win a Samsung Series 7 tablet, one of two GT Omega racing chairs, a Beats by Dre executive headset and more. Anyone of any age can enter, all you have to do is click the giveaway link in the description below and follow the steps to enter. The more things you complete the more entries you get and once you complete the first five entries you unlock five more. The only info you need to provide when entering is your name and email so we can message you if you win. But moving on to Pokemon Go, this app has blown up on social media this week and everyone and their dog is using it, it seems but let's see if we can get 5,000 likes for Pikachu and comment below what your favorite Pokemon of all time is number one so Pokemon Go got released first in Australia and New Zealand then a couple days later it got released in America but unfortunately it hasn't been released in the UK yet it's being paused due to servers being overloaded which isn't really much of a surprise considering how insane Pokemon is but John Hank or John Hankey I'm not really sure how to say his name boss of Niantic who is the creators of Pokemon Go says because of these issues they've decided to push the pause button on releasing the game in other countries until they're comfortable so basically they just have to fix the servers and get more servers up because they're just being overloaded constantly with all these millions of people trying to play at once. Number two. Pokemon Go is causing people to injure themselves and break the law by trespassing and various other stuff just to catch Pokemon. One story I found was from the Pokemon Go Reddit and he said, Not even 30 minutes after the release last night, I slipped and fell down a ditch. I fractured the fifth metatarsal bone in my foot, which takes six to eight weeks for recovery. I told the doctors I was walking my dog. Watch where you're going, folks. So yeah, 30 minutes after it got released, this guy's already in the ER. And I can see a lot more of this happening very soon as it's only been released two days and people are already getting injured and hurting themselves. Number three. So while I was making this video, I was looking through the internet trying to find funny Pokemon Go images and I found quite a lot, I'm not going to lie. First off, we have, I think this is Pidgey, is that his name, Pidgey? Please bear in mind guys, I'm not that good with names. I do like Pokemon, but I don't know all of the names, so I do apologise. But this one, this guy's just on the toilet and then he's got Pidgey watching him. This is going to be one of the hardest places to get to. I'm assuming they've put like the most rare Pokemon in this spot in the middle of the ocean that no one's really going to get to unless they have a boat or something. I bet someone will do that that at some point i'm not gonna lie next up we have jigglypuff next to a baby which is really cute i thought this was uh quite sweet and i think you guys will find that sweet as well definitely one of the nicer images i found next up we have a snorlax who's leaning against a weed sign <laughs> i mean this is just hilarious isn't it i'm assuming that's in us somewhere i have no clue next this is probably all of your guys's favorite one it's just a stripper with pidgey on again and yeah she's looking pretty fine next up we have the rat pokemon who's called like ratata or something next to a dead rat so poor thing next up we have the rat again except this time he's got a gun pointed at him so i don't know what's going on here he's supposed to have a pokeball there not a gun i have no idea what this pokemon's called it's just it's a crab obviously but i don't know what it's called i think the main thing with this image was is that you're going to get crabs if you use this toilet roll assuming you know what crabs are so i'm gonna have to blur this one out but basically this pokemon is looking pretty pissed off at this user who is just on pornhub just browsing you know next up we have the most obvious and blatant thing which people were going to do with Diglett they've put it on where their dick is so very original there I'm assuming like hundreds of people have done that already now we have a uh, Magikarp is his name Magikarp I think it is but this is pretty funny I don't know how he managed to get him to fall over on the side but it literally looks like he's being cooked by the pan next we have Ratata again I knew that I knew his name was Ratata except this time someone looks like he's been pulled over by the cops while playing Pokemon Go 
and I can understand this as it just distracts people from having like full concentration. Next we have a Pidgey again and this time it's on the bed of a woman who's pregnant or yeah pregnant not had a kid she is pregnant. Now we have another Diglett in the toilet this time and this looks kind of disgusting I'm not gonna lie it looks pretty weird mainly because of the bits around the Diglett it just looks like lumps of shit or something. And now we have is it Mewtwo? I think it's something like that. This is one of the best ones because it actually looks like he's sitting on the toilet just pushing a shit out. I honestly cannot remember what these ones are called. I've seen them so many times but I just can't remember the name. They look like eggs and they're in a frying pan so that's a pretty blatantly obvious thing someone's going to do. I've seen like five pictures of this exact same one so I only threw one in. Here we have an Eevee with a dog which sort of looks like the dog counterpart. And Eevee is definitely one of the cutest ones along with Jigglypuff and Pikachu of course. Number four. So Pokemon Go is free if you want the basic app but there is also a Pokemon Go Plus which gives you extra benefits for like $34.99 or $50 or something like that. What you get is a wristband which lets you know when Pokemon are nearby so you don't have to check your phone. It also vibrates when you're near a Pokestop and it flashes when you're near a Pokemon. Honestly to me this just seems like a massive waste of money. I like the actual app but spending like £35 or $50 or whatever on this wristband just so you don't have to check your phone when something's near seems kind of stupid and expensive to me but no doubt thousands or hundreds of thousands of people will still buy it because it's Pokemon. Number five. Pokemon Go has been causing people to lose weight and exercise more recently as they've had to venture out the house for the first time in years. Or, well, that probably applies to like two or three people, but you get where I'm coming from. Which is great, but I will get into a very negative side to Pokemon Go in a second as that does exist. Number six. So people can take advantage of this app and lure kids or anyone they want to their house or wherever they see fit. Filthy Frank actually addressed this perfectly in his Pokemon Go video uploaded like yesterday or something. Now he does it in a jokey sort of way but the points he brings up are really legit and I think you guys should uh, listen to him. And what if it's some old pedophile who puts a lure in, in a park and he attracts kids and he's just sitting there waiting to diddle some Pokeballs. Because everyone can see that someone has put a lure, meaning it attracts a bunch of Pokemons. All these kids are gonna go. All you need is an old creepy man with a saggy ball sack and an iPhone, and you're set. This is the new way of how pedophiles are gonna attract kids. You never know who you're battling. The only battle could be the old pedophile's urge <laughs> to give in to his urges. Number seven. Okay, so this just gets worse. One girl has actually found a dead body while looking for a Pokestop. 19 year old Shayla Wiggins from Wyoming was told to find a Pokemon in a natural water source but instead found a man's dead corpse. A quote from her, I was walking towards the bridge along the shore when I saw something in the water. I had to take a second look and I realized it was a body. So all I'm saying is to those of you who play Pokemon Go, be very careful where you venture as things could go downhill very fast. Number eight. So I've legit just found an article dedicated to people injuring themselves playing Pokemon Go and they actually put this guy wow. in. He got the tiniest cut after falling off his skateboard. How is this newsworthy? Oh, then there's another one of a woman who bruised her leg. Pretty much the most minor injury I've ever seen in my life. Number nine. So obviously in Pokemon, different ones have different rarities. So Reddit user Rotom Guy has put together this rarity chart which may help some of you out. But remember it's not 100% accurate or anything so just take it with a grain of salt. Number 10. If you want and if you play Pokemon Go, you can create and or join a team once you reach level 5. Once you reach level 5, you just need to find a gym and it will prompt you to join. And if you don't know what the gyms look like, the gyms are those tall gold and silver towers you can see on your map sometimes. And those were 10 things you didn't know about Pokemon Go. Follow my Twitter as there is a giveaway going on just for Twitter users right now. Also don't forget to enter the massive giveaway I announced at the beginning of this video. Seriously, you lot don't want to miss out on this one. It's the biggest and best one we've done yet. But that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. This is Granty and I'll see you in the next video.
Are you playing Pokemon Go here? I'll be back to take this gym later. <laughs>